The new Rodecaster Pro 2 has not one, but two USB ports, and that is a source of confusion for many streamers and podcasters, so let's clarify how they work, and also bust the myths about the much feared USB Mix Minus setup, and the custom routing options that are included in firmware 1.0.5. To understand how the USB ports work, and specifically how USB Mix Minus works, we must start from the analog ports. On the Rodecaster Pro 2, you will have four analog inputs, and you can plug into these analog inputs basically whatever you want. As long as it's an audio device, be it an XLR microphone, a guitar, a keyboard, a synth or a drum machine, because they are combo jacks and accept both mic level and line level signals. But they are analog signals, which means that whatever you do, there's nothing ever going to come out of them. The outputs, on the other hand, is where the sound is coming out from. And there are six of them. The two main monitor outputs and the four headphone ports. And like with the inputs, they can only output sound, but not receive any input. Analog. For now, and according to Rode themselves, this will not always be the case, but for now every analog output carries the same audio, the entire mix, so what you will hear out of any of them is a mix of all the inputs, including the digital inputs, the sound pads, the Bluetooth channel, and the USB channels. And speaking of USB, let's take a closer look there. Now it may start to get a little more challenging, as a USB port is both an input and an output at the same time. Now don't be confused by the fact that there are two USB ports, it's not like one of them would be the input and the other one the output, like with the analog ports. No. The Rodecaster Pro 2 actually has two audio interfaces built in, which means that both of these USB ports are independent inputs and outputs. So let's take a look at how they work and focus on USB 1. Once your Rodecaster Pro 2 is connected, from its backside actually, via the first USB-C port into your computer, and you have selected Rodecaster Pro 2 Main as your system audio input and output, your microphones, instruments or line inputs that you have plugged into the Rodecaster Pro 2 will start to be fed through this USB-C port into the computer. And this is nice, as your computer will now understand the originally analog signals as the Rodecaster Pro 2 is now your USB audio interface. The complication starts when the computer also starts to send audio back to the Rodecaster Pro 2, which it happily can, as first you have just set it as your system audio output, and second as the Rodecaster Pro 2 is perfectly capable of adding a USB input channel, the audio output of the computer becomes the input of the Rodecaster Pro 2, in this case on the USB 1 channel, so why is this a problem? Well, because just as with any other inputs, the Rodecaster Pro 2 will right away send out this audio signal too, right back into the computer where it came from. On one hand, of course, this is a very handy feature called loopback. This way you can actually record sounds playing on your computer, like Spotify, YouTube, game audio, whatever, into first the Rodecaster Pro 2 onto the SD card, and second, into your computer, into your dough. Where it becomes an issue though, is when you are in a video conference or in an online call, like if you are on Zoom, Teams or Discord. And the issue starts with the fact that it takes time for the audio to make this loop background. The time it takes for the audio to go around is called latency, and while it is a very short time, it will cause quite big problems that not very long ago have crossed podcasters' eyes because what happens is that the computer sends out this audio coming from Discord, Teams or Zoom, which is the other side of the call speaking, which will go into the Rodecaster Pro 2 so that you can hear them on your headphones and eventually record it. But then from there, since the USB port is both an input and an output, at the same time, it goes right back into the computer just with a little bit of delay the time it took the audio to make this loop background. So what the chat partners will hear is their own voice coming back to them with a few milliseconds delay. Try, Try it. it's, it's impossible, impossible to, speak to speak this way. This way. Our brain just simply cannot handle it. So what's the solution? Easy. Why you still need all audio to come into the Rodecaster Pro 2, including the audio from Teams, Zoom or Discord as you want to A, hear it and B, record it, to avoid the latency and the feedback issue, the USB 1 channel must be taken away from the list of channels that go back into your computer. If you do that, the other side of the call will still receive the full mix, minus their own voice. Mix minus. 
okay, now we know what mixed minus is, but the question still remains, how do you take out that nasty slap backing channel from the mix so that it does not go out right back to the chat participants? There are three ways to do that and the Rodecaster Pro 2 makes it really easy for you. First, the USB 1 port has two channels, the Rodecaster Pro 2 main and the Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. And if you choose the chat channel, instead of the main as the input output for the communication app you are using, or even for your system audio, the speciality of this USB chat channel is that it has this mix minus scenario automatically set up by default. So you don't have to do anything further. Problem solved. Second, you can choose to plug your computer into the USB 2 port instead of the USB 1 port. Or as well as, in fact, you can actually plug both USB-C ports into the same computer. But then your second option is to select Roadcaster Pro 2 Secondary as the audio input and output of your communication app or the system. The USB 2 channel has the option to switch on Mix Minus at the touch of a button in the output settings now under a new rallying tile. The USB 2 channel is set to Main Mix by default, which means that all input channels will be sent back to the computer right away, including its own audio that originally came from the computer over the USB 2 port. So if you want to exclude it, you will need to select the Mix Minus option on the USB 2 channel's output settings page. The third option, and this is where the new firmware 1.0.5 is really ingenious, that there is a new custom button which is where it gets exciting. I'm talking about being excited, don't forget to subscribe for more of this kind of content and let me know if you like this video so far. Back to the custom option, here you also have the chance to manually select and remove that nasty slapback channel at the tap of a button. But not only that, as here you can exclude also any other audio source from the output. And while the screen looks a little bit crowded at first, I actually really like this design. On the top you can see that you are tweaking the settings for the USB 1 channel, which is this port on the Roadcaster Pro 2, meaning that any changes made on this screen will apply to the device plugged into the USB 1 port, with Roadcaster Pro 2 main selected as the output either in the system settings or in the application's audio. The instruction clearly tells you that you are here to adjust the output mix that is going out from the Roadcaster Pro 2 and into the device you've plugged into the USB 1 port. As we have learned from the mix minus explanation, to avoid sending back to the participants of, for instance, a Zoom call, their own audio with a delay, we need to remove from the list of channels going out from the Roadcaster Pro into the USB port the one channel which originally came from that same USB port. Remember the loopback and the latency? In this case, the laptop sound came into the Roadcaster Pro 2 on the USB 1 channel. Therefore, you will need to remove the USB 1 channel from the outgoing mix. To do just that, you simply need to tap on that channel, and there you go, it gets grayed out, and the red cross marks that it is deselected, which means that the deselected audio source will not be heard on the USB 1 output. What you see here is actually a classic mix minus setup. The full mix gets sent out minus the calls audio. But since the setting is called custom, you can do that with just about any channel listed here, which is how you would exclude certain audio from being sent out from the Roadcaster Pro 2. A typical example would be if your Discord chat is running on this USB 1 channel called Roadcaster Pro 2 main on your computer, and the gaming audio is coming into the Roadcaster from a second computer that is plugged into the USB 2 port. Then you can tap on the USB 2 channel to deselect it from the outgoing audio mix, and now Discord will neither receive the feedback nor the game audio because you have just stopped them from being sent out to the USB 1 output where your computer running Discord is connected to. And this is how your settings screen will actually look like in real life without my messy illustrations. Let me know in the comments if it's clearer now how USB mix minus and the output running works on the Roadcaster Pro 2. Now the only thing missing is the submixes, where you don't actually want to remove any channel, just make it louder or quieter for a specific output. And that's still to be developed by Rode. I actually have a UI mockup on how it could look like and work in a future advanced mode for routing and submixes or whatever you want to call it. But wait a second. Did I say the submixes are the only thing missing? Actually, no. A slight limitation in this firmware version is that this custom setup only works for the digital channels, but not for the analog output ports. However, 
Rode has already announced that they are working on the same routing capabilities for the headphone ports as well, which will open a ton of possibilities for podcasters and those recording music in the first place. I would actually love to see, since they are doing it for the headphone output ports anyway, that they also allow this for the main monitor outputs. If you want to know how Mix Minus works on analog consoles, there's a video about that on this channel. There's also one introducing the Rodecaster Pro 2. And if you're generally interested in podcast recording and remote guest recording, you are actually in a good place, as this channel is all about that. Good luck with the USB Mix Minus, and bye for now.